Here comes a video demonstration of EC95 in a Saab 95 model year 5, meaning the second generation SID, which is not mono space with more proportional font. So, uh, in same as the other ESITs, you start with holding down the clear button, then you come into the root menu. In the root menu, you have favorites, powertrain, vehicle, diagnostics, uh, setup when you're standing still, uh, and then back to favorites. If we start in powertrain, you have air temperature, boost, and boost max. You can reset the boost with holding down the clear button. Uh, ignition angle, knock counters, very zero, misfire counters, zero, E85, if you have a biopower software, uh, this is the fuel adaptation, we are running in a fifth gear manual car today, uh, we have momentary fuel, updating every two seconds, we have the fuel counters, the first one is the cycle and the second one is the total or, or since last time we reset it so I can hold it clear and I can reset the total uh, but the first one is uh, always counting the cycle. We have average fuel, torque and power values, maximum torque, maximum power. Here we have a specialized view with four, four values and if you press and hold set you can see what the values are, so it's torque, power, air and boost. Uh, but when you're driving, uh, there's no space, so... Uh, but always remember that you can press set if you forget which one is which. Engine speed and coolant temperature. Uh, here we have air mass requested versus actual and also the percentage difference. Uh, in Also in here in air mass you can see that currently we are in pedal map. Depending on which mode you are, it can be cruise or it can be anything else. Uh, and then we are back in the beginning and then on, on air, temperature on air, we go continue to vehicle functions. Another specialized view, my uh, the so-called driving view that I call it, you have vehicle speed, momentary fuel, drive time and outside temperature. So it's a good view while uh, driving, so you get the most, Im the most important information. Uh, distance counters works the same way as the fuel. The distance is uh, the cycle and the total is uh, the total since last time we cleared it. We can clear it with holding down uh, clear button. Drive time, you can also hold down and clear that one. Uh, inside temperature and the outside temperature of the vehicle. AC pressure, battery voltage and crank voltage. Automatic hazard. Here you can see uh, how close you are to activating the emergency brake. 100% here is uh, that's the limit where you uh, activate the uh, uh, automatic hazard. So you can select the sensitivity, sensitivity in the settings. We have the acceleration view here where we can select uh, different speeds, for instance 80 to 120. And then it depends on the speed of course and it will show you the uh, acceleration time. Brake distance, brake time. So we can see last time we were braking, we went from 27. You see here we went from start speed to end speed, 27 to 13 kilometers an hour, and it took us 24 meters in four seconds. And here we have a view where we show the vehicle speed and the steering wheel angle. Wheel speed show you uh, speed per wheel if uh, one wheel sensor is uh, broken. And then we're back in the, my driving view. In the diagnostics view, we can read and clear fault codes, but not while we are driving. In the favorite view, we have five favorites where we can choose which views we like the most. So for instance, here we have selected uh, the four power uh, acceleration performance data. Here we have the driving view, AC pressure, battery but we also have this one which is a customized view where you can select your four parameters yourself so on the older seats up to 2005 this functionality exists currently not on the later cars but uh, that can be a later add-on so currently I can select four parameters and I have selected these four ones that I would like to see and I see them together in one view and uh, the next thing here is 
setup but we cannot check that yet while we are driving we have of course uh, three blink so if I'm touching the indicator you get three blink or five or whatever how many you want basically you can also uh, if I jump out of the uh, inside I can activate the uh, night panel so that we, get, we have night panel and then you can also activate the inside uh, to have only uh, inside uh, activated while driving in night panel this works on uh, this seat and the later seats. It does not work on the first generation seat between 98 and 2003. So this is a feature only for the later ones. And then of course if you want to go out again of night panel, I can press night panel again so everything is back to normal. And then I can start again by going into uh, here pressing clear. I think these views here is a good way to uh, fit as much data as you possibly can in one view especially since uh, these displays only has the number of characters that were decided by Saab a, a long time ago so to say see here you can go in here again somewhere there is something else that I should add here on this view, uh, you can also see uh, evaporative pressure if the car has that sensor, but it was removed on uh, model year 4, if I recall. So from model year 4 and forward, we cannot see that temperature. And that is uh, part of the AC system, basically to uh, uh, prevent you from running the uh, AC system if it's too warm. can also mention if you go into uh, the view here where you have the gear here on this view uh, on this view on the automatic cars you will also have uh, the temperature of the oil and also where it says 5 um, there we can uh, also see if we are performing a uh, shifting or not for instance if we are going into uh, uh, if, for instance here we can see that we change to fourth gear uh, but on the Matic car we can also see an arrow going up and down if the transmission is currently shifting so you get a little bit more information and you also get the uh, an L after the 5 like if you're in lockup to show that the transmission is uh, fully the clutch is fully closed and uh, also good to mention here we only see here the views that are valid for this car so uh, the on other cars you could probably see other data we'll see if we can see here another feature and here on this one if you accelerate more than 90% on the accelerator pedal and then release for instance here then you can see that the data freezes for eight seconds which is great because then you can do an acceleration and then you uh, can look at the data uh, afterwards because otherwise you will have a hard time uh, looking at it while doing it so to say that is the problem most cases go into the oh, i just need to wait for the traffic here to go away my point was that we were going to go in and check uh, the setups, what are the features that we have for setup? So, yeah, so we are going to stay, stay. So, standing still, we can go into setup. Here you can configure your welcome message, which I will show in a moment. You have torque estimation. More everything will this be in the manual later, so you can check it. For instance, we can control the seat from the steering wheel if we want to, if you, if you don't have original stereo. We have a possibility to control uh, the 12 volt output, depending on if the engine speed is too much, like for a shift, a shift up lamp or stuff like that. So we have some features for that. Uh, we can activate an open seed menu and we can activate open seed directly from your seed, but that's only on cars that has uh, open seed. Uh, we have here the five favorites that you choose. So if you select a custom view, 
which has your own four parameters then uh, you can go in here and you can uh, here select your four uh, parameters so it's very easy you just press set here and now you can select uh, which is your uh, favorite parameter automatic hazard sensibility three blink fuel correction factors and stuff uh, yeah and then welcome message you can also change in here so this one will be showing when you are uh, turning on the car first time great but uh, read the manual coming soon and then uh, you know everything thank you